Good morning, everybody. Today we're going to be trading the YM. It's Friday the 11th. We've had some great trading the last uh, two days because obviously the market's been on a tear. Uh, we start trading at 9.32. It's currently 9.33. There's a short out there at 26. Put our order on. Then we'll adjust our stops and targets. Let me look at the swing low of the day. Always want to do that. It is at 26. Let's go ahead and put it to 24. Pretty much a standard adjustment. And now let's get our stops in place. All the numbers will be in this data window. I like to throw horizontal lines, although I don't seem to have any on this chart. And there we go. There's my uh, stuff. All right, let's. I've got my order in place. Uh, I'm look down here and I can see 13 so again these numbers will all show up in the data window I can have pull a data window right up over here if I want to see it click on the setup the setup uh, hasn't canceled yet so it's still valid so again my entry uh, was 26 I adjusted down below the swing low and below the 25 and the target we have 19, 16, and 13. So again, this first target, 19 ticks, it's not 10, so I always push it to the next one. That one isn't really 10, so we're going to go for uh, from 16. So I'm going to go with, uh, here's an inside setup. TJ likes to do those inside setups. I'm not a big fan of them, but that's kind of a new optional thing on the setup. So I'm going to leave mine at 26, get my target to... Uh, 13 and then we're going to just trail one so we'll have one target at 13 we're going to cancel that long that one and then we'll just manage this trade it gets to 13 we'll go to break even and trail market may cancel and give us a long I, you know, I mean, I don't want to influence, uh, let's see, this uh, setup, the inside bar setup at 30, you would obviously round that down to 29. Again, just we always round around the zeros and the fives. Uh, Dow, it's not that big of a deal, but, you know, one tick in that case kept you in that trade. So I was going to show you this. This was an earlier setup pre market, it came at 9.12 and it would have triggered in and would have stopped out so that's why I didn't try and get in sync with this trade so uh, this inside bar trade would have stopped out if you had not made that adjustment the importance of adjustments so again we're we're sticking with our blue trade you see it's still out here still printing now it's about to cancel you see this confirmation line is closing above the jump line so we'll get ready to cancel and go long. There you go. It's officially canceled. I'll quickly hit cancel all and it's done. So now I'm going to look for a long. And on this long, move this over slightly. Now I can get my horizontal lines. Uh, you can see we've got highs there at 41. So we'll see what it does. Keep that up there. And this is how I like to do it in the live room. I put a couple colored lines so everyone can see the lines very clearly. I use blue and hash. Be ready for a long. Obviously, I'm going to adjust it above the 50. There it is, 48. We're going to leave it at 48. That's too much of an adjustment. Okay, it's out there. Let me get my stops moved down. My stops go down to 37. I can see it right there, 30. Seven. Target 58. We're at 58. This one's going to go away. Uh, and let's actually, the target is higher than that. So money management is 58. Full target is 62. There we go. Boom. All right. So again, I'll put a green line here for the full target. My red line down here is the stop. And we'll make this dashed. 
that's how I do it in live room. So we've triggered in. We had one tick of slippage. Simple system is very simple and easy. As soon as I click here, let me give you. You can see the numbers here in the data window, our date and time. Uh, once we get to 58, I move the stop up, lock in a tick. That's it. It will take off one position when we hit the full target, and we have one more position trailing. So we're just along for the ride. Nothing to do. Trading's pretty easy. I just got up, fed my cat because I had my stop and my targets in place. The only thing I had to do was when I heard order filled, I would then know to move my stop. Actually, um, I wouldn't. Uh, make sure this is right. I've got this. 62, yeah. Actually, I wouldn't. Uh, I could set this as an alert line. Let's do that. Uh, let's format it. I don't like having a bunch of alerts because obviously I'm I'm always here. So let's just have it alert once if it hits this line. Also, I wanted to get the EJ up here. Uh, I was just going to kind of keep an eye on the EJ for the Forex day traders. Let me put that over here just to kind of see what it does. It starts at 8:20 in the morning, so. To refresh this because I'm not seeing any signals. There we go. All right, so while we're waiting for this to hit its uh, money management, we'll go ahead and maybe move that over just a hair to there for we can see everything we need to see. Uh, so 8:20. Let's see what we had. You had this 8 o'clock signal, really nice short, uh, 8:05. Uh, again, can't get in sync with that. Then we had this short right here. So this would have been the first signal we would have looked at. And as you can see, it uh, didn't trigger in and it went the other way. So no problem. So now we have another short. So it's kind of a quiet day on the euro yen. So you would have a short out here. And again, this is Friday at uh, 133.18. targets would be we go for uh, we want about 15 pips so right there you've got uh, not quite 15 pips it's just over 10 pips so we would push it to the next target so that our full target would be 3302 and we would use this target of 10 pips really 11, 12 pips for money management. So I don't know if anything will happen on that. Okay, there we go, money management, lock in a tick. There you go. Well, now we're definitely along for the ride. We hit full target, we've hit money management, and so we sold one, and now all we do is trail the stop. And let me move this red line here so you can see. Uh, this is a, a pro calculator. It will move the stop up. And so this next bar, as soon as it closes, you're going to see the stop move up probably to about here, 46. All right. We just trail. There you go. It said 50. We wouldn't put it at uh, 50 or 49. So let's go to 49. Wait a second. It's, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Um, we had to take a slippage. So therefore, it has this. We will actually put this down to 49. So because we had the tick of slippage, I don't lock in a tick because we should have been long at 48. So and obviously we want to keep our stop protected below the 50 level. So calculator never isn't wrong. It knows what it's doing. So hopefully we're going to get another nice push up and this will do well. But either way, we've. Uh, we went long at 49 and we got out at 62 so we've locked in uh, some money there and it's risk-free okay you can see the blue dots we're just again trailing this green line so it tells me to move the stop to 52 so we'll do that 52 again we're along for the ride let's hope this thing just rolls up uh, again, you're going to see this blue dot move up again. I'll get these lines, uh, at least get that money management line out of the way. 
Again, so you'll just kind of keep moving your stop up following those dots or just following the green line if you have the standard calculator. So I want to say I'd like to keep these videos short. Uh, come trade the live YM with us. We also trade again that uh, Euro Yen. Okay, there is a short on the Euro Yen, a smaller trade. Get short right there at 21. And again, you'll go for a fixed target of 15 pips. So put it down around uh, somewhere around 15 pips for your fixed target. I'll maybe close this out when this thing finally ends. Move your stop up again to 55. But if not, I want to thank you all for watching. Come trade with us. This uh, it's a trend jumper owner's room, and you can see this trade may end up paying for the entire system. But uh, we've had a phenomenal week, and I guarantee you this last week paid for the entire system. So uh, some days you will have losing days, but that's okay. Uh, you know, this is a one and done. I'm going to be out fishing. I don't, I'm not a big golfer. Uh, out fishing here, what, in 20 minutes, unless this trade keeps going and going and going. Uh, so again, move my stop up now to 55. So again, as soon as uh, this trade's over, it's a one and done uh, plan. I'm now 58 on the stop. One and done plan. So one trade, a winner, you're done. If the first trade happens to be a loss, trade basically till you're positive. And again, we do this every day. We've got uh, the stats on it uh, called live in the room Monday through Thursday. We start at 0850 trading oil. We've done some videos on oil. And again, we do the YM when we come into the room. But uh, again, if you own the system, you can trade, obviously, the YM uh, early uh, on your own. We do swing trading with it on Forex, day charts, uh, great results. So that's it. Good trading. There you go. We just closed out at 58. There was my stop. We're done. Time to hit the water. Again, great trading, everyone.